you ever wonder what it'd be like to be running through this existence? rather than being run down by the combine, standing there waiting for it to come. Just wait for it and everything will be okay. Comply in your patience. One flew east, one flew west, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, R.P. McMurphy, and uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Before he was Jack Nicholson, it, he was R.P. McMurphy in the pure form. The red-headed guy with the, if you look closely enough, there's a scar over my nose, and in Ken Kesey's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, he talked about R.B. McMurphy. He'd sometimes, he'd touch the scar on his nose. It was a way of thinking, like Finn McCool, you know, right out of fucking Ireland. but it's about the mayhem. And then, you know, the unknown. It, it takes a certain kind of person to be able to just um, run away from everything that we're supposed to be doing. It takes a certain kind of person to believe it. In the first grade, when a substitute teacher says, you can be anything you wanna be, it takes a certain kind of person to believe that and to follow it as a gift. I mean, you know, I know we're all still insects in this civilization that we uh, exist upon, it, within, upon, within. Very few of us exist upon this civilization and it's hard to fucking try them for what they've done however we we find uh some michael murphy here explorations into the further evolution of human nature the future of the body is the name of the book that was the subtitle and it's uh he's a co-founder of the Ashland institute so I thought I'd just open it up and uh, I did mark a page. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cheat you. There it is. And within there, I, the, right at the top of the left page, I haven't read this yet. There is an organic affinity between joyousness and tenderness, James wrote. Religious rapture, moral enthusiasm, ontological wonder, Comic emotion are all unifying states of mind in which the sand and grit of selfhood incline to disappear and tenderness to rule. Oh, baby, I'm reading from Michael Murphy. I, uh, there she is. And, and it's, it's, she causes my tenderness to rule. <laughs> You know how tenderness rules, baby? It rules without authority. Tenderness rules in a way that says, I love you so much, you can do what you will to me. And if we both look the same way at that, then tenderness rules. It's, um, there's a different kind of society. It's actually one that nobody's thought about yet. I hope it didn't go up too high and low on that. Um, I was about to read um, something from something that I saw a long time ago. 
Oh, I was in China. See, this, we're talking about cultural relativism here and, and existing with each other. I, I don't know, I might just, I'm covering for something right at this point. But uh, got hit by my first bicycle today. He was on the wrong side of the street. He acted like it was my fault. It's all there. I'm not making this shit up. I wrote it down. Uh, Ta Jia Zhuang. Nigga. Shi Wu Da Wan Wente. I wrote it down. I was. It's. It's. Putong Hua. It's Chinese. It really is. There are a lot of dirty words that people get upset and it's like that isn't what I was saying at all. If you can't speak the lingo you will probably die. Um, that said sorry and kept running. Hadn't even had a beer yet. 0430. 4.30 in the morning. Look at that. I wrote something down. Woke up screaming, meaning moaning in terror. It's it's so funny. This is not unusual. I'm just surprised that I wrote it down. Uh, thing on the bed variety. There's shit that climbs into bed with me in the night. Uh, sometimes it's more aggressive than others. Uh, awoke and realized something was going to be on my bed and waited. A deer jumped onto my bed and stepped over my body gingerly and off other side of bed. It turned and stood with its nose six inches from my face broke paralysis enough to put my hands on its soft muzzle, stroked back far enough to get right hand around base of its left side of antlers. Saying, get off of me, repeatedly, trying to yell for someone to come in and wake me. Awoke ruled half over with right knee in the air and screaming moans echoing through the room and still coming from me. It usually it's only a small furry thing, somewhat like a cat or a big rat. Well, I guess if you don't get caught by the combine, you're going to be tortured forever. Uh, that's about...